Let's think a little bit about what it means to multiply 2 thirds times 6. One way to think about it is to literally take 6 2 thirds and add them together. This is 6 2 thirds right over here. And if we wanted to actually compute this, this would be equal to, well, we're going to take these 6 2's and add them together. So we could view it as 2 times 6, 2 times 6 over 3. 2 times 6 over 3, which is the same thing, of course, as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 thirds. 12 thirds. And what is 12 thirds equal to? Well, we could rewrite 12 as, so this is equal to, we could rewrite 12 as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 over the yellow 3. And this is going to be the same thing as, let me do it like this so I don't have to keep switching colors. This is going to be the same thing as 3 thirds plus 3 thirds plus 3 thirds plus 3 thirds. And each of these are obviously a whole. Each of these equal 1. That's 1. That's one, that's one, and that's one. So this is going to be equal to four. So that's one way to conceptualize 2 thirds times six. Another way to think of it is as 2 thirds of six. So let's think about that. Let me draw a number line here. And I'm going to draw the number line up to six. So what I care about is the section of the number line that goes to six. So that looks pretty good. So this is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So if we want to take 2 thirds of 6, we can think of this whole section of the number line between 0 and 6 as the whole. And then we want to take 2 thirds of that. So how do we do that? Well, we divide it into thirds to three equal sections. So that's one equal sections, two equal sections, and three equal sections. And we want two of those thirds. So we want 1 third and 2 thirds. Now where does that get us? That gets us, that gets us to 4. So we get, obviously, to the same answer. It would be in a, a tough situation if somehow we got two different answers. Either way, 2 thirds times 6, or 6 times 2 thirds, either way, that is going to be equal to 4. But there are two different ways of viewing this. This first way is literally viewing it as 2 thirds 6 times. And this way is we're taking a fraction of the number 6. We're going 2 thirds of the way to 6, which would get us to 4.